right, welcome back, YouTubers. Uh, so this is uh, part two of uh, making a chef's knife with Josh Raker. Um, so we got our eighth inch uh, A B dash L stainless steel. Um, we're gonna be making the uh, eight inch chef's knife. Um, so where we left off, we have the uh, design of the knife more or less roughed out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the final profiling now, um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, mark our center line, and then uh, start with, uh, with doing the bevels. Uh, so on the grinder right now, I got a, uh, a pretty worn 36 grit belt. Uh, I don't like using the the real uh, real sharp belts for this because it's going to end up knocking a lot of the grit off. Um, so I, I usually start this with a relatively rough one and then we'll, uh, we'll kick over um, to a little bit more aggressive belt as we get going. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire this up and uh, we'll get started.
Alright, so at this point here, I feel, uh, I feel good enough about, uh, you know, the design and the shape and how we got it profiled out, uh, that I can go ahead and, uh, put my center line on there. Now, how I do it is basically I'll take a pair of calipers and get the total width of the steel. Okay, so... Coming up at uh, point one two nine. Um, so I am going to go ahead and uh, split that in half. So we'll round it up to, to one thirty. And then we'll go ahead and uh, Go ahead and split that in half, so we'll go to about 0 0.65. And what this does is it just gives gives me an idea of where my center line is. I'm just going to describe that. I actually sell tools that do this or you could use you know, since we're using eighth inch steel you could use an eighth inch drill bit um, and it'll make the center line. Now I'll do both sides here. Good look. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, gives you an idea of where the center is. Okay, so when you're grinding, you know to, uh, especially with a chef's knife, you're going to grind it pretty thin. Um, gives you an idea of, of where to stop. Uh, so at this point, uh, we're more or less ready, uh, ready to start grinding. So I'll go ahead and uh, make my initial bevels here uh, just to get started and then uh, obviously I'm not going to show you the whole grinding process because that would just be extremely tedious. There we go. See, we got uh, basically our initial bevel started. Now, obviously, I'm going to work this the whole way up, pretty much the whole way up to the spine. Not, not quite going over the spine, but uh, just up to where it kisses the very top. Um, I tend to do my uh, my chef's knife at about probably about 15 degree angle. Um, I'm freehanding it, so I'm, and I never actually check it on any kind of measurement, but uh, I keep them pretty thin because the thinner the knife, the better it slices, and the chef's knife is made for slicing, so uh, it only makes sense to do it that way. Um, so basically at this point, I'm just going to keep on working up. Um, once I'm, I'm going to go most of the way with the 36 grip belt. Uh, once I get near the top, uh, I'm actually going to switch over to... Um, I usually go 80 uh, for a few passes, 120 just to start getting the shiny, uh, 240 and then I'll finish up with a 400 um, before it goes to heat treat which might be a little bit overkill but um, 
makes for easier hand sanding down the road. Uh, plus, after heat treat, I, I go back through anyway. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, keep on working up the grind here. And uh, I'll check back with you guys here later. So, uh, a couple things I wanted to... Uh, Wanted to touch base on guys with uh, when grinding your bevels. Um, you now, like I mentioned earlier, I I do my blades free-handed, um, but you can do uh, you can get a jig or, or basically make a jig out of uh, basically anything wood, metal, piece of angle iron. I think when I first started, I used a piece of angle iron. Um, but the key is. Once you start in with uh, with doing your grind, alright, you're going to go from uh, your plunge line now, or basically from the end with the chef's knife, because I don't actually put a, a, a defined plunge line in these. Um, but the, the thing to remember is slow and steady, so as you're coming across, nice even strokes, even pressure the whole way. Um, and as you work your way up the blade, you can put more pressure on uh, on the spine or on the actual edge um, to uh, to kind of work your way up and uh, to level it out. Um, just again, make sure you're keeping constant even pressure on there. Uh, just find the flat and keep working up. Now this is a flat grind here, um, but again, just even. Steady pressure right across. Work your way all the way up. Um, again, I'm not going to show you uh, all the all the grinding, but uh, in the next video, basically, we'll show you um, where we're at uh, before we get into uh, any kind of heat treat or anything like that. All right, so thank you guys very much. Have a great day, great night, and uh, we'll follow up with you again uh, once we get this uh, all the way ground down. Okay.